everybody. Welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is our March Amazon haul. So this is the time of the month when I show you everything that we bought from Amazon for the entire month. You guys, I'm actually like slightly proud of myself this month. I mean, there's some kind of big purchases, but it could be much worse. So the majority of the books that I bought, in fact, almost all of the books that I bought were for or are for the holiday fun around the world. So I just updated it to include all of the holidays through May and I bought mostly um, books for that. And the reason that is, is because I find that while our library will have a lot of them, they're not going to have them when it comes time to do it. Seasonal and holiday based books are very, very hard to actually get your hands on when that season or holiday is happening. So it's easier for me to just have them on hand. And especially because I know we really want to do this curriculum to its fullest potential. I wanted to have as many of the books on hand as possible. So I have the story of Passover. Celebrate Passover. We throw color on each other. Let's celebrate Holly. And then celebrations in my world, Holly. Celebrate Easter. Celebrations in my world, Easter. Celebration in my world, Earth Day. Celebration in my world, Arbor Day. The Rainbow Tulip. And Celebrations in my world, Cinco de Mayo. So those were most of the books that I purchased um, for our homeschool. Actually, it's all the books I purchased for our homeschool. Now we'll go ahead and show you three other books that I purchased. So in March is mine and Kevin's birthday. So these were my birthday books. Um, and I actually still have some credit left to buy more birthday books. So after I show you these, if you have any must read books for like a mom or a homeschool mom, please leave them in the comments down below so I can spend the rest of my birthday money on them. So I picked up Risen Motherhood, which is um, the gospel really does bring hope, freedom, and joy in every area of motherhood. And Mere Motherhood by Cindy Rollins. I've actually read this before, but I wanted to own it. So to add that to my library. And then how to teach Shakespeare to children. I just thought I would really like to own this one. So those are all of the books that we bought this month. Now, since we're talking about birthdays, I'll go ahead and show you what Kevin got for his birthday. And it is the Aftershock Air Wire Bone Conduction Headphones. He loves listening to music when he is working in this way. Um, they're kind of like on the outside. They're not actually in your ears, so they're not hurting his ears and he can listen to it, you know, the whole time that he's working and not be like bothering us when we're trying to homeschool or read or whatever. And you guys, I tried these. I have never been one for headphones because they make my ears hot. Earbuds don't stay in my ears. They like pop out. I, I, they all drives me crazy. I've never ever found anything that I can use for longer than like 15 minutes. These are really, really cool. Especially if you have, like I said, whatever ear issues. I don't know if my ear is too small, too big, whatever, but earbuds pop out and headphones like make my ears hot and itchy. These don't go in your ears. They sit like right on the outside. They're actually really, really awesome. So that was his birthday gift. Okay, you guys know that I picked up a few games. So the first game that I have is Organ Attack. It is a one that I have wanted for forever and ever and ever. Like we are talking years. And this sucker never, never goes on sale. Like never, ever, ever. And it's a card game. And I really didn't want to pay that much money for a card game, if we're being totally honest. But I was just tired of it sitting in my save for later list. So I bought it with part of my birthday money because I have been wanting it that long. So I will let you know if it was worth it. Um, organ attack. And then the other game that I picked up was a ticket to ride first journey. Now this first journey is the European based one. So it is technically first journey Europe. 
So I got it because we were heading to Europe and are traveling the world and I thought it would be a really fun addition to that um, kind of study. Now, Emily is old enough, we could totally play regular Ticket to Ride and have a great time with it. But Ticket to Ride is not Kevin's favorite game in the whole wide world and the gameplay itself is a little bit too long and I have found that Ticket to Ride is not the most fun with just two people. So Ticket to Ride First Journey is the perfect like in the middle place where it's more fun because three people are playing, but the game doesn't last so long that Kevin's like, okay, I'm done. So if you're looking and you're thinking, well, wait a minute, Emily's almost nine and you're playing a first journey. No, she could totally play the full one, but it's just like the right game, speed, time, place, whatever you want to call it for our family. And I really liked that this one was all of Europe. So that is what we're going to be playing for traveling the world Europe. Kevin also found this set of slides on Amazon and he really wanted it for their little like STEM class. It was actually the one he wanted the most was the insect. So this has like a honeybee leg antenna and wing, um, a dragonfly leg, abdomen and wing, a locust leg antenna and wing and a butterfly leg antenna and wing. And they're prepared. So they're ready to go. This was the one he really wanted. But when I started looking, you could get the bundle. So they just kind of came and like this whole bundle thing, all of them together for less, for almost less than you could get the one. So we just bought the bundle because basically that one that I just told you guys is all insect stuff. Then this one is sheep hair, duck feather, fowl feather, horse hair, sardine scale, goldfish scale, cat hair, cow hair, rabbit hair, pigeon feather, canary feather, and a plankton egg. And then this one is corn stem, carrot root, cabbage leaf, burdock root, celery leaf, ginger root, onion epidermis, cucumber ovary, pumpkin ovary, lotus root, sponge gourd stem, and potato starch. So that was the green one. And then the yellow one is pine tree stem, veins of a holly leaf, tulip pollen, uh, lily pollen, carnation stem, dandelion fuzz, bamboo cane, sunflower pollen, um, and there's a few other that are in a position I can't read them. So basically a little bit of everything with that four pack. So we got that for their science section. And then because Emily picked bugs for morning basket this month, we've been doing all kinds of buggy, creepy, crawly things. So when I saw this, I just thought she would enjoy it. And it is a gross candy lab, gummy candy lab. And it's like making gummy worms and spiders and things. So it looks kind of creepy, crawly, gummy. So I thought maybe she would enjoy that since she is having so much fun with all the creepy, crawly things. We currently have a rotting log ecosystem with millipedes and beetles and all kinds of creepy, crawly things going on. We have a worm farm. We have a caterpillars and we have praying mantis egg case. So why not add some gummy creepy crawlies to the mix? And that's it, you guys. That was everything that we bought in March from Amazon. And like I said, please leave comments down below about the mom books because I still have some money to spend. I just don't know what to buy. And I know I want some books for me to read. So leave all of your book suggestions for me in the comments so that I can spend the rest of my gift card.